What's up YouTube? It's Kyle Thurman here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting back at the gold. Um, all I'm bringing is a gold pan and uh, I'm not sure what's in my book bag. I might have a crevicing tool and a little trowel, but that's about it. So I'm going to teach you guys how to find gold with the minimum stuff. Um, just a gold pan, snuffer bottle, and maybe like a little shovel, and that's it. No big equipment, no expensive stuff at all, but hopefully we get on some today. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy. Oh, I see some ice. Woo! Wow, look at this beautiful bedrock all right here. Oh yeah, got nice cracks and crevices everywhere. Looks like someone was digging that out. Someone was definitely digging this out. Somebody is prospecting here. Good for you though. Well, anyways. I'm gonna find a nice one and uh, we'll get after it. All right, I got the Garrett Super Sluice here. Got my snuffer bottle. I thought I had a trowel, but all I have is this. A long screwdriver and a scraper tool. So I'm gonna work this little guy right here. I'll get all the big stuff out of it. And uh, we'll try to get to the bottom of it and see if there's anything in it. So stay tuned. So when the water goes over this, the gold is gonna be like a stratification process. It's just gonna go to the bottom. And that's where we wanna get. Even if I move dry material like this and there's a big old nugget, it'll go to the bottom. really thin down there. We'll grab some of this stuff. Let's see. What tools use this? Big rock. Almost looks like an old arrowhead, don't it? It might be. A little bit of clay down there, so that's good. The gold will sit on top of that clay. But let's go pan this out. We'll see if there's anything in there. Shake, shake, shake. What do you know? We got some gold. Let me move some of this water out of the way. Shake it all the way down. And if you guys could see, I'll fix this camera. There's a tiny speck right there and right there. 
one and two and i think there might be a third one by that little spot so cool first pan and there's gold in it easy as that so you just take your snuffer bottle squeeze it and vacuum it up now let's put a little bit of soap in here because gold will float i know it sounds crazy but it will some lead in it too a couple of nails and that good old heavy stuff we always find here see what i usually do is try to find the heavy material just like this stuff i call it hematite but other call it iron ore so i'll just get in here and scratch it all up you can almost see the bottom in there. I'll try to get it over this larger spot. If I could grab it, go in the pan. And we'll just see how deep this goes. Get the big stuff out. And you can see there's pieces in there. Like that. That'll do. What's that? Another piece. All right, we'll go ahead and see what's in here. clay so that means I'm getting cold it's only 35 degrees out break it all up Good. Look how purple that is. There's got to be at least one piece in here.
small peak. I see gold. That's all the heavy stuff that you're looking for. Good enough. I'll come by the camera so you guys can see. Let's see the view on this. Sorry. Right. Let's go ahead and work it down. Look at all that lead in there. Ooh. I'm sure there's a lot of lead. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Multiple pieces of gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can count eight already. Let's work all that back up there. These little guys are trying to fall down. Yeah, check that out. See that gold up there? Easy as that. That's a good pan. A lot of lead in there. Wow. Let's get this snuffer. Got all that. Definitely want to check it again because all the lead came down. And it usually goes with the lead. So let's see. Do a quick pan here until all I see is lead. Look at all that lead. Incredible, huh? And I sure did miss a piece or two. Actually, quite a bit. Look at that big chunker I missed. It's a nice chunky coarse piece. Soap out of here. Sometimes you'll miss out on nuggets if there's a bunch of lead. I think that might be all gold up there. You know what? It is. It's just so flat it moves. Wow, let's get it all. I'll save a lead pile up here. And we'll take that lead out once I leave. I collect all the lead just to leave the creek cleaner than it was before I got here. So yeah guys, once you're out in a spot like this, and if you got bedrock like this, just think of a sluice box, you know, and any crevice that runs really any way, just like this. Like this crack right here, it's gonna fill up with gold and all the heavies just like this spot someone has dug out. And they were looking for this heavy, heavy stuff, but they didn't get to the bottom of it, which they should have.
Yeah, this would be a great spot. So I'm going to try it on the top of there. They need to get to the bottom. And this is the hole I just did. That's where we found that gold, right there. Right there. So the top of the sluice box, which everyone knows, gets the most gold. So the first drop off layer, like check that out. Look at that. Look, see all that? That's a big deposit of the hematite and all the heavy irons. So this is where we're gonna work next. So what we'll do here, we'll just scoop this up. See how far we can get in there. See, this is all blonde sand, so we don't we don't want that. And then as soon as you wipe the blonde off, then you see the purple. really get in there you start seeing the heavy stuff look how big it's getting Massive pan, but well, that's okay. gold will sit on top of the clay and over the years it might go down a couple inches in it so we want all of it in this crack right here because there's only about an inch of clay
that's about as much as I could reach. All right. It's a nice size pan. Let's go see what we got. Feels pretty heavy. Break it all up. This water is very cold. That weird iron concretion. Nice color to it. If you guys are wondering why I'm bumping on the side of the pan, it's because the it'll make the gold drop. Big heavy stuff. Definitely see some gold in there, so that's good. Some of big stuff out. Look at all that nice iron. Got some trash bob wire. Oops, lost it. Dang it. Usually when you find that stuff, you're in the hot spot. I'm going to start working this down now. Definitely have lead. Oh wow. There's a lot of lead in there. Let me clean it out a little bit more. There's the flip back. And there's the gold.
see that right there? Nice little chunky piece. I have to go through it again. Make a nice enough for bottle. Quite a bit of lead in there. I think that's all the gold though. Yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video and show you how to get gold in less than 10 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm going to go back home and I think I'm going to do another metal detecting video today. If you haven't seen that video, I found a 1834 um, capped bust half dime, I believe it is. Very rare coin. I, I believe it was my last video I uploaded. Um, I hope you guys get out there and find some gold yourself. Uh, it's very simple. I just showed you. But... Uh, yeah, as always, I'll see you guys on the next adventure. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Just click subscribe. It should be at the end of the video. But I'll see you guys next time.